Uh, welcome to a new video. In this video I want to do a comparison. The Sony Xperia 10 Mark II, last year's mid-range Sony device, running an alternative operating system, Sailfish OS, against a device that is also a mid-range device when it was released last year. But nowadays is, yeah, you can get it for as cheap as 101 euro, the Huawei P Smart 2021. On paper, at least, the P-Smart has the better camera system, but we want to check out which one of those, running Safer OS, running Android, has the better camera and produces the better images, photos and videos. So let's get started. So this is a recording with the Xperia 10 Mark II running Sailfish OS and this is what you can expect of the mains camera on the back for in terms of video recording and video capture. I'm using the default camera app on Sailfish OS. It should support the wireless microphone that I have attached via USB type C dongle which is supported by uh, Sailfish OS at least on the 10 Mark II devices. Uh, hopefully also in the future on other devices as well. This is what you can get in terms of uh, video quality. It's 1080 I know the Xperia 10 Mark II can go up to 4K, but Safe doesn't support 4K, only 1080p 30 frames per second on the Xperia 10 Mark II so far. And what you will also see is a might be a little bit wobbly because there's no electronic image stabilization and there's no optical image stabilization on the sensor. But this is what you can expect in terms of quality of the Xperia 10 Mark II running Selfish OS. Now the recording with the Huawei P Smart 2021 with its default main back camera, which has 48 megapixels, so it's a little bit uh, bigger, uh, not only in terms of pixel size, but also in sensor size. So you get a brighter image probably. Uh, this one doesn't have electronic image stabilization as well, so the same issue as the uh, Sony Xperia, and it has focusing issues. So probably it's focusing not on my face, but on the background. I have to go get a lot closer and then probably it tries to focus on my face instead of the background. This is like an issue I don't know why it's there but the Sony at least is focusing on my face even though if I'm moving around it is like struggling sometimes and hunting a bit. You can see some pumping here and there. Um, yeah, Which one is better in terms of quality? A video 1080p 30 frames per second. Uh, this is the Huawei P Smart 2021. If you want to have a more GoPro action-like kind of feeling with an ultra-wide angle lens, this is what you can get on the Huawei P Smart 2021 as well. It is a tiny lens. It is worse than the main lens, of course. And if you go into darker situations, you can see it, the, the picture is not the best. It doesn't have autofocus, so everything is basically in focus from this distance and on. And uh, yeah, this is the quality 1080p, 30 frames per second that you can expect. There's no electronic image stabilization there either or optical. And uh, just because it's a wide angle, you have less shaking. And how does this ultra wide compare to the Xperia 10 Mark IIs? Let's take a look. For the ultra wide angle video on the Xperia 10 Mark II, I'm using a little bit of a trick because the default Safe Address camera application does not yet support all the three main camera sensors on the back. So what we will have here is the advanced camera app that allows this. I patched it myself. You can see one of the videos that I will link up there where I patched it myself to be able to use the ultra wide angle camera under the Xperia 10 Mark II. And this is what you can get in terms of quality. I think I personally prefer the Xperia a little bit better uh, rather than the Huawei. And I wouldn't have known that I would ever say this. So I, I'm surprised by myself. But I think this one is maybe best for vlogging. If the audio would be a little bit better, I think it would be the ideal vlogging setup uh, for cheap if you want to start vlogging. Xperia 10 Mark II around 200 euros and on Android you get electronic image stabilization which is even better though on the ultra wide angle it is not so yeah, apparently seen or annoying to have non-electronic um, image stabilization. But in terms of quality I think you would agree that this one is a little bit better when it comes to the videos in ultra wide angle. What do you think? You can write down in the comments section. What we will do now is uh, do a comparison of the photos 
because I think there it might be also very interesting to know which one has the advantage in focus in, in photos <laughs> and focusing and uh, colors and HDR because Huawei is known to have very good automatic or AI artificial intelligence optimizing photos and Sony is more known for natural colors and on the Xperia 10 Mark II running Sailfish OS it is even more because there's no real AI working there you just take the photos out of the sensor and whatever the driver gives you you have as an output there's no optimization going on at all so I'm quite interesting interested in how this will turn out so Let's take a look. On the left, we have the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II with Savage OS, and I used mostly the advanced camera because I have the option to choose the uh, autofocus to be manual, so just press to autofocus, otherwise, it's in continuous focus and refocusing, and this uh, messes things up. And on the right, we can see the Huawei P Smart 2021 using the default um, camera application that is the best camera application for the device. So, respectively, uh, both both have um, yeah the best camera software for their device running under their operating system. <laughs> I hope it made it clear. So. Anyway, let's zoom in a little bit from the outside. Nothing much of a difference, but you can see that the Huawei P Smart Z, uh, P Smart 2021, in this case, has a bit of yeah, a sharper view on the flower here. On the Sony, somehow the focus was not right. It's on the back a little bit, as you can see here. So the middle of the flower is not so visible here. It is like blurry already. When it comes to the bokeh, I think think yeah they're both not very good in this case then there is another shot which is the macro shot and I did a macro shot the super macro mode on the Huawei P Smart 2021 and this is what was the result and you can clearly see this something odd because in this case you can see it's a two megapixel effort only so you cannot go in any much closer but you can see some details here um, and yeah it looks pretty nice but now the Sony doesn't have a dedicated macro mode there's a macro focusing option that I can use and it took me a while with the macro focusing option to get a shot because if you go into macro focusing on the advanced camera app it just if you press the shutter button it refocuses and then could mess up things but if I get the right thing uh, this is what I get and I can use the whole sensor so the whole 12 megapixel can zoom in a little more and you can see a lot more details here and uh, yeah it is pretty cool also notice the colors are a bit different so it's a bit darker here and a bit lighter here then when we go to the next one we have a very interesting shot here where I see clearly that the Huawei P Smart did something in terms of HDR maybe as well it was lightening up everything could be also because the aperture is a bit wider and the sensor is a bit bigger uh, than on the Sony but you get the brighter image here but you have like the whites here in the background it's simply overblown and with the Sony default it is not so overblown but it's still overblown a little bit and you can see that the sharpness here is still there here it is a bit soft for some reason I'm not sure where it focused on it's not the tree it's probably somewhere here and on the Sony yeah you can see it is sharper than the uh, Huawei P Smart 2021 so there is a difference here what I can do uh, on, the, on the Huawei I have the AI activated so that you, I think it's the default setting and the AI should kick in and do auto HDR as well on the Sony there is no auto HDR so you have to enable it manually I enabled HDR manually and you can see a clear difference here I get a brighter image as well so this is why I think maybe there was some HDR going on uh, with the Huawei but you can see the HDR is kicked on on the Sony here right now manually in this case so I get the brighter I get the more realistic colors you can see it's a bit more yellowish on the P Smart than Huawei one and the Sony has more realistic colors here this pathway looked like this it didn't look as yellowish as here 
And when you take a look at the background, you can see, yeah, with the auto HDR enabled, I can at least see, uh, yeah, that this car has a tire here and a back and that there's a whiter car there. There's a car here almost blown out completely and here you can see which color this had. So it's also not perfect, but it is a lot more realistic also here with the grass which is here almost completely blown out and nothing can be seen on the Huawei. So I'm pretty amazed. Of course there's a price difference. As I said the Huawei P Smart 2021 you can get a new one for 170 euros. I had luck and got one for 101 euros but uh, yeah the uh, Xperia 10 Mark II I think is over 200 still and um, is price wise also saying that there's a better quality even if i put an alternative operating system on and even if in theory the p smart 2021 should have the better uh, image sensor it looks a little bit like that here you can see again a different kind of uh, photo length maybe as well but what we can see here is also in this case different colors and this time the Sony has a warmer colors and Huawei does make it a little bit cooler in this case. And I have to say the more realistic one was the Sony again because the clouds were opening up a bit so the sun was shining. The sun is yellow, not so whitish as here. And here it looks like if the Huawei is confronted with these clouds, it tries to make everything a little bit bluer than it is in reality. And now don't be shocked if I zoom in right now it is uh, a mess on the Huawei as you can see here it doesn't look so bad but if I zoom in on the Sony you can see wow <laughs> there's a clear difference here and this is a problem that I have sometimes with the Huawei I, I really think there is a focusing issue on the Huawei because I don't think it was focusing right here because you can the 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 the, the letters here of the Feuerwehr Köln are clearly seen and sharp you can even see the little um, I don't think it's bricks but the little um, segments of the wall here you can really clearly see them here it is just a mess and I don't know why uh, it could be compression it could be that it didn't get it sharp enough I don't know you can see the same on the sign here it's not over sharpening on the Sony it is just simply soft on the uh, Huawei for some reason and sharp on the Sony uh, same with the bricks in the background here and the colors again um, a bit cooler on the Huawei for some reason because of the clouds probably when you take a look at the HDR effect and the clouds itself is there much of a difference maybe a little bit more bluish again the bluish tone here because it's all over the image so yeah and again here this is sharp already has something to do with the smallish sensor 1 over 2.3 I think it is in the Sony and it's a bit uh, bigger sensor on the uh, Huawei so yeah this was one where I was a bit shocked of the Huawei one this one is also interesting uh, both have HDR on so kicked on the um, Huawei as well as uh, have it activated on the Sony and when we take a look we see directly brighter and more yellowish because it was in the Sun literally and here for some reason the Huawei was doing it yeah, darker making the image a bit darker even though it was just seconds apart more contrast adding in I'm not sure why the sharpness looks okay on the first glance but if I compare it to the Sony it looks artificial the Huawei sharpness looks really artificial here like it is uh, hard to explain but this looks more natural here on the Sony and on the Huawei it looks like it was sharpened afterwards it's not really really sharp it's just the sharpening effect trying to make it sharp and yeah this is the issue that I can see here uh, here you can see it clearly also that this is sharp and here it is also here yeah, sharp but it looks more natural uh, where there are some things that are that have to be soft in this uh, kind of flower and here everything is like sharpened in a way and also the, the I don't know how it did it but also the the like I said the clouds and the Sun didn't change so I'm not sure why it looks like uh, this on the Huawei but what I can say clearly is when we take a look uh, at the background here as well is that 
the bokeh is nice on both and yeah but we can clearly see there's some sharpening going it looks like natural sharpness on the sony and there's a yeah, artificial sharpness on the huawei for some reason so this is this big difference here then an interesting shot where i would like say wow they're so similar here almost no difference at all but when you see a little bit more details you can see like the sky is a little bit bluer on the huawei and it's a bit more lightish blue on the sony and when we take a look at the um at the details both at 12 megapixels uh because the 48 megapixels are simply pixel binned together on the huawei we can see again more sharpening applied on the huawei and more natural looking on the sony you can see it at the tree here for example it's darkish here but there's some kind of extra sharpening going on and here it looks more natural it's a bit hazier here a bit unclearer but it is more natural looking and when we take a look at the sign here i think yeah almost at the same level there is again the more sharpening applied you can see it on the letters itself they're like it's like a bit more unnatural on the huawei and the sony has more natural colors interestingly again you can see the difference in in size and and maybe also focusing but you can see the fence here is sharp on the sony and here it is blurred out so yeah this is this also a bit more bluish again a bit more yellowish um on the sony a bit more bluish on the huawei and when we take a look at the differences here yeah also in colors again more yellowish more bluish maybe a bit more sharp again but it could be like the artificial sharpness of the huawei then the next one i was a bit shocked is that uh, two times zoom i tried out also on the huawei that doesn't have a two times zoom dedicated uh, lens but as it's 48 megapixels you can at least hope to get like a good shot out of it if you zoom in two times and pixel binning should do its work and it's working quite nice one thing that you can see here clearly is that hdr is not working on the sony anymore this might be some bug in the driver but uh, the, the the app crashed when i try to use hdr on the tele camera so it's not working on the tele camera this is why it's underexposed here in terms of sharpness however when we take a look here we can clearly see again it is digitally zoomed in a bit a bit disappointed i have to say on the huawei side and here we can see that uh, yeah it looks more natural on the sony again um, you can see clearly hdr kicking in on the huawei so you get more uh, brighter shadows here you can see clearly see what's inside of the little house and uh, you can see here the the, the rest of the uh, bush bush and uh, yeah the background here um, also the difference it's now in this case even though there's hdr turning on you can see it's a bit overexposed on the huawei and it is a uh, darkish blue here on the sony so all in all the advantage of the optics is there but it is if you have it like in this view it is ne negligible uh it is almost not there you have to go to the 100 percent to see uh, it's a bit of a digital mess on the huawei but it's not as bad as it could could be and uh, another thing where we can see that huawei maybe also also with his over sharpening in two times zoom has its advantage is this photo here where i wanted to photograph the sign with the two times zoom digitally zoomed and you can see it is clearly readable it's sharp it is i can clearly see okay there's over sharpening going on around the letters but on the sony one it is uh yeah soft it looks more natural on the sony one but it is soft which shows that the tele zoom camera is not the sharpest on the sony so the sharpening has some good points on the huawei when it comes to reading signs or something it looks just a bit better but it looks more natural on the sony uh, again uh, then the next one i was a bit shocked again this one with the main no, also with the tele lens again there's no uh, hdr going on the uh, sony so it's overblown highlights the uh, huawei can have like uh, hdr bluish more bluish tone in the background 
the clouds were coming, uh, rain clouds. But what I was shocked about is like a uh, focus miss, mismatch. In this case, you can see didn't focus on there. Even though I tapped it twice, I did twice uh, the this photo. It was like always not in focus, and the Sony nailed the focus at least here and had the more natural colors here it was like you can see the colors are different as well and the sun is still from the back there behind us so uh, yeah it makes more sense to have it like this and i'm not sure what the huawei is doing there it doesn't look good the next one again hdr difference not much but what we can see clearly is a color difference so for some reason the huawei when it sees those those cloudy clouds the rain clouds it's making everything dull, dull looking in terms of color so the so the grass looks dull and everything looks dull but and you can see the sony clearly has a little bit more details here in the grass but also the more realistic colors because there is still the sun in the background it's it's still a bit of yellowish light coming in it's not directly burning down like uh, harsh shadows or something but it's still there and the color here of the, the the grass looks a lot better and yeah it's a mess here on the on the huawei and especially if you look here there is a, a red flower and you can clearly see it is red it's maybe a little bit too red on the sony but on the huawei it's like <laughs> if i didn't have the photo of the sony to know that there's red i wouldn't even come to think of that there's a bit of red because it's almost invisible it's almost blue here so it makes it very very dull looking in terms of colors and i don't know why the ai was turned on maybe the ai did this um there's also uh, maybe the hdr also did it because you can see here the the, the fence and the, the green of the fence here is more darkish more darkish green because of the sun in the background uh, you can see here so the hdr effect maybe not so hard kicking in on the main sensors here and a bit more contrast on the sony one but the sony one looks more realistic i have to say and it looks a bit dull on the huawei one and then same basically on the next one which is a bit yeah, surprising for me again there's no hdr effect on the sony for some reason uh on the huawei there is hdr you can see the clouds here in the background on the yeah, sony nah, it's overblown but when it comes to sharpness and anything else besides like the white point being a bit overblown on the Sony, I would say, is it overblown there? It's looking fine. Um, on the Huawei, it looks uh, like HDR did its work, but it's all a bit dull uh, looking. But in terms of sharpness, I was focusing here in the middle. You can see both are doing a good job with its uh, 48 or 12 megapixel um, or the 12 megapixel files here so everything can be clearly see seen here i think maybe the the white dots here or beige dots here on the while we are a bit more visible than on the sony because sony is a bit overblowing here also the highlights which the huawei does a little bit uh, better um yeah more realistic colors however both not really realistic i have to say it was some something in between probably and it's a bit overblown here on the sony so this is my photo comparison between them both you can write in the comment section what do you think in general i'm surprised that usually huawei phones tend to have like good ai and tend to do good photos but i was surprised that sometimes they did dull photos sometimes misfocusing sometimes you know, lack of information just simply and the sony did um, in general i think a better job than the huawei when it comes to daylight shots i didn't do nighttime shots because clearly the winner would be huawei we know that uh, first of all sony is not as good in computation photography in general when it comes to nighttime shots and second of all selfish doesn't have a nighttime mode that could help here in any way and there's a night mode for huawei so huawei has in terms of night shots definitely won already so um yeah, this is the comparison in terms of uh, photos. Now this is everything for the camera comparison of the Huawei P Smart 2021 and the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II running Selfish OS. Which one of those has the better camera system? You can write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.